All right, what's good, YouTube? In this video, I'm going to show you how to mod Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the Epic Game Store. So let's get into this. Before we get any further into the video, don't forget to like this video, please, because it really helps with that YouTube algorithm. It helps people to find my videos. Don't forget to comment down below as well. Comments help with the algorithm, and it also helps me to understand what you guys want to see. Don't forget to subscribe because we're really trying to grow. We're hoping to get to the first thousand subs by the end of this year. Don't forget to turn on those notifications as well because you'll get notified of all of my uploads and my live streams when I go live. And don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are all linked down below, but let's get back into the video. So, of course, if you own the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 remixes on the Epic Games Store, you're able to mod it. You can also mod the PS2 version, of course, on emulator, which is really cool as well. But this video is going to focus more on the Epic Games side. The process is similar on PS2, but it's not exactly the same. So, let's get into this. So, you're going to need something called OpenKH or the OpenKH Mod Manager pull my browser in so open kh i will link all this stuff in the description below but this is just a github repository where you can go ahead and download open kh and i when you get the file i highly advise you do not extract all this to the desktop because as you can see there is a lot of files so what i'm going to quickly do is just create a new folder on the desktop just to store it in for now so once you've gotten this of course you can hit download this will take you to the builds click assets and openkh.zip so that's going to take about a minute to download well, depending on internet speed like the it also depends on the speed of github as well my internet speeds are way faster than this obviously but because of you know github speeds it uh, can be a little bit slow so uh, be patient with it but once it downloads put it in a folder and then just extract it all in that folder like i said do not do it on your desktop because there's like a thousand files in here it will fill up your desktop pretty darn fast and well it'll take you ages to move all your files so i'd recommend highly not doing that uh but also let me know in the comments down below if you want a tutorial on how to randomize kingdom hearts 2 i'll be more than happy to do that once you've got it just uh it'll automatically come in its own folder anyway so you can either put it in a new folder or just take out this folder so literally just extract that to the desktop oh or wherever you're gonna put it in my case, we're going to move it to the desktop. It won't take me long because of my M.2 drive. Of course, it highly is variant on the speed of the files as well. It's a bit meh, but it's fine. Why is it copied it there? It's so dumb. That's going to take a hot minute. I don't know why I use an M.2 drive. Why are you taking a hot minute? But fine, whatever. Whilst that's doing that, we can work on getting mods. So mods themselves, you can get them pretty quickly. So... The best repository for Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on Epic is Nexus Mods, which is a great website for a bunch of mod uh, games to mod. Uh, games like Dark Souls, Elden Ring, um, Fallout, The Elder Scrolls, all that stuff. So literally just type in Nexus Mods and then type in the name of the game, Kingdom Hearts 2. As you can see, I've already searched for it. And if we come here, click on that, this is going to take us to the page on Nexus Mods where you find the mods that you you know you want to use so there's a whole heap of stuff and people are adding stuff all the time for this there's a lot of really cool mods on here but we'll just use one as an example for now so let's say kingdom hearts one sora so we'll get the mod for this now you do need to create an account on here and there is a paid option you do not need to pay um you can literally just use free of course you get slower downloads but so let's do manual download click slow download i should be signed in yep so assuming you've created your account, you can do this. So create your account on Nexus, and then that's going to start downloading. Of course, because we're not paying for this, it's a slower download. Um, but it'll, it won't take too long. The mods aren't that big anyway. So that looks like it's copied over. Fantastic. I'll move my folder back now. I don't know why that moved. But that's downloading. So whilst we're waiting for that, let's go into the OpenKH folder. Now we can make our time modding in the future a lot easier. So scroll down and you're going to want to look for OpenKH, uh, where is the right one? We are looking for, uh, there we go. So OpenKH tools mod manager .exe. So what I would highly recommend you do is you create a shortcut for this. 
because uh, creating a shortcut is going to make your time a hell of a lot easier. So once you've created your shortcut, you can use that to open up the mod manager. Now our mod is about downloaded, so we can go ahead and do this. So next, once this is done, downloaded, perfect. We'll just copy this file to the desktop for now. We don't need to worry about doing anything with that yet. So we'll open up the OpenKH mod manager. Uh, if that pops up, just hit run anyway. So now we're going to go through all of this process. So hit next. Uh, so you want to use um, PC release via the Epic Game Store. Select the file of the PC release. That's usually going to be on your C drive. So go to C drive. Uh, then we're going to want to go to program files A6. Um, Epic Games. Uh, Where is it? Program files, six, 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 program files. I always forget my way through here. Uh, Epic Games. Oh, sorry, program files. And then KH 1.5.2.5. So hit that folder. Select it. Hit next. Um, so you do want to install this. So click to install that as well. Hit next. Uh, launch via Epic Games. Hit next. And then you're going to want to extract game data. This will take a couple of minutes, uh, depending on the speed of your hard drive. But extracting the game data is going to be very important because that's what's going to allow these mods to actually take effect in the first place. If you don't do this, then it's uh, definitely going to be a little bit of a problem. But keep in mind that once you extract this data, it's a very big file to extract. So obviously make sure you have enough hard drive space. Because if not, then it's not going to extract at all. But uh, we'll cut back once this is finished. Alright, so with the game data extracted, I should also probably point out that this will um, automatically extract it to the OpenKH folder anyway. But just in case you want to change the directory for whatever reason. Anyway, once you've done that, hit next and you can hit finish. So that will then launch the OpenKH mod manager. Now, once you've got the mod you want, so let's extract it from this folder. So... All of these count as separate mods, even though it's the same thing, but we'll uh, do this anyway, so we'll get all three files. So you want to make sure that the file format for these is a KH2PC patch. Um, this is, again, specifically for the PC version of the game on Epic Games. But once you've done that, you want to hit mods and install a new mod, and you're going to select an install from mod archive, select desktop, and then the mods will start appearing. So it's going to install all of these mods. Uh, install a new mod so we'll install the second and then we will install the third now for general usage there is one mod i would highly recommend uh that is the garden of assemblage mod so what it does is it changes the garden of assemblage from being a data fight hub to being um each world for the games just so you can skip out on all the uh gummy missions what have you like you don't need to if you don't want to if you like the gummy missions but i would highly recommend it but once you've got your mods installed uh you want to hit mod loader and you want to hit build only so what this is going to do is it's going to build the game based upon that and then you're going to want to go to your game itself and then run it so we'll run kingdom Hearts 1.5.2.5 remix So of course, it might take a hot minute to boot. Now, because of the way I play, I do run it in borderless full screen. Of course, this part's going to be in windowed mode. So I can just uh, do that. All right, my controls not plugged in. It probably would help if it was. And that's just activated my ripsaw. Very nice. Like that. I'll play keyboard on mouse for like minute fine uh okay so kingdom hearts 2 God, i can't remember the uh controls on pc uh there we go all right so kingdom hearts 2 is going to load up now like i said modern kingdom hearts 2 is really cool because there's a whole heap of really cool mods for the game including randomizer and like i said if you want a tutorial for how to randomize kingdom hearts 2 final mix don't forget to comment down below and I will make sure to do that tutorial. Because modding the game isn't just as simple as installing a mod. There's quite a few things you have to install for it. 
um, and it's quite a process, especially for someone who's never done a randomizer before. So, uh, like I said, don't forget to, say, you know, do that. I'm hoping my save files are still on here. Yes, they are. And here we go. We are playing Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora. So the mods worked. We have Kingdom Hearts 1 outfit, which is pretty darn cool, including Kingdom Hearts 1 Sora. And then if I go to... How do I go down that? that? So we'll go to drives. So it said some of the drives would be altered. So wisdom form. Hey, that looking pretty. Fly, though. Like, that looking pretty fly. But yeah, if this tutorial helped you out, don't forget to hit a like down below because it really helps with the algorithm. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if it helped. Don't forget to subscribe, please, because we're getting really close to the 500 sub mark, which is fantastic. Don't forget to turn on those notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are all linked down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.